Welcome to Yoga with Ursula and welcome to Stability Ball Exercises. Grab your one to five pound weights or none and follow me along. We're trying to do between eight and ten reps and you might have to work your way up to it depending on your condition. So sitting on your ball, preferable with some shoes on today, and we lightly hop up and down. You can use your arms the way I do it here working your way up into a jumping jack just to get the heart rate going a little bit and waking up that body warming up that body great way to do this on a stability ball in comparison to a chair because the ball is like a little resistance and works with you you will love this quick way those 20 minutes to charge up the body and feel fit for the rest of your day here I'm going into full jumping jack. We do approximately one minute. Again, work your way up to it and then slowly coming down. Becoming still here, pressing your feet down, pulling your core in and we're going slightly back and forth, letting the ball here doing the work with our pelvis, warming up the hips and the lower back. And just letting that breath flow in and out to your nose. Nothing moves but the hips. Now we make our hip circles five, six times in one direction. You can bring your arms onto your hips or, you know, just let them hang or even putting a prayer position in front of your heart. Other side. Just loosening up the lower back, loosening up the hips before we get started. Must let that breath flow. Maybe put some lovely music in the background. I don't know what you like to listen to. And we're going to twist here, tall spine twisting to the right. Take a breath here or two. And then we're twisting over to the other side. I usually put either some country or 80s music depending on my mood. That's why I didn't pick music so you can choose your own music. Consider that as a full workout especially if you are a beginner. What is this more likely geared to? Beginners, seniors, you know, anybody who wants to have a change. And here we're going to go from side to side. We stretch out the arms and let the ball again here do the work. You just control your breathing and controlling here your belly. You can switch your palms forward and back. Be creative. Just keep moving. And we'll get you into a good mood doing some workout on the stability ball. And we're going to come some of some calf raises here onto our toes and onto our heels. We try to do between 8 and 10, rip, 10, <laughs> 10 reps, not rips. Warming up the legs. Letting the ball roll back and forth. Keeping that core engaged. Some people call it a Swiss ball or an exercise ball, yoga ball, cactus here, Pilates ball. There are many names for it. One more cactus. Open up that chest. And we're going to kneel down here and have that ball onto our left hip and outer thigh. Hugging that ball, press your fingertips down, belly in, push your hips forward, lengthening out that right leg, a couple times arms and leg. You can also keep that arm alongside your body, just lift it up, core tight. Now press it down and stretch all the way across here, either arm up or arm by your ear. You can rotate here your torso, use that ball to get you into those movements. You might want to watch that video once or twice through and find a way to stop it if you want to go a little longer. Now we switch it over to the other side, really tight here into the side body, holding that ball so it's not rolling away. The reason for the shoes is you have a better balance, a better stability 
versus um, without shoes. Of course you can do it without shoes. About five times straightening up that leg and then we press into the foot and lengthen out. See how I'm going here even deeper into a stretch. You can also bend that arm, that elbow. Feel free to adjust it. And over time, try to do this workout not just once, maybe two, maybe three times all the way through for a full workout. So now we kneeling and tuck the toes under, lengthening out on your wrist and rotate the ball towards you as you round. So lengthen out, core is tight. Exhale, round, bring the ball a little bit in. Rounding that back. Lengthening out, stretching here the side body, under the arms, and the entire arms and upper body. Just a lovely move to open up here the body to get ready for some little weight training with the ball. And I have to make some space. Moving back, we're going to mold here our belly onto the ball, core tight. Spreading your legs, again this works better with shoes wider than your hips, reach your arms forward, lengthening out here, inhale and bend like into a cactus fashion, let the elbows come back and let the shoulder blades coming together, this is three, lengthen out, four, five, And lifting up to course always engaged and we can bring your arms alongside your body roll your shoulder blades a bit in as you're reaching up see how I corrected that here so you can see this shoulder blades back lifting up pressing your belly your hips into that ball This is called dead buck pose. It's kind of like a child's pose just to catch your breath. You can also stop the video and do the intro a few times until you get stronger. Feel free to utilize this video to your um, needs and abilities. I'm going to crack the weights. I have just two pounds here. You can pick up to five pounds, maybe eight that's up to you. You can even use soup cans, little rice bags or bean bags. So you want to mold now the back of your body from your buttocks all the way up onto the ball. And as you inhale, exhale, push the arms overhead, working the upper body, the arms, the core, shoulders, sitting with your booty into the lower half of the ball. Legs are hip width apart and you're pushing here into your feet. So exhale, coming up. Inhale, laying back. Exhale, push it up. You can also keep those weights in front of your heart if this is a little bit too intense. Or again, do it without any weights. Do between 8 to 10 reps. And then walk your legs forward, leaning now just the upper body down. Your booty is lifting up into the air, but keep it high. Shoulder flies. Inhale, open. Bend your elbow slightly. Exhale, Bring your arms together. 8 to 10 repetitions. Again, this is so much better on the stability ball because you have to work with your balance as well. You could do this on a workbench, weight bench, but it's not as effective as on the ball because you have to stabilize your entire body and you're working your glutes here, your hamstrings, your core, and of course your upper body. And we're going to come slightly forward. I leave the weights there and I'm stretching my arms overhead. Sink a little lower here. And I'm pushing off my quads and lengthening out again. Coming down, core is engaged, lengthening out. One more time. And again, so you decide how many you want to do. That was five. And it's lengthen out and take a few breaths here. You can let your fingertips over time coming down onto the floor. You can also bring your arms out like a T. And just stretching here the front body. 
Let's roll slowly back down, grab the weights again. And we do straight chest press, lift up the booty again, engage the core, press into your feet eight to ten times. Push it up, inhale, exhale, straighten your arms. Feel free to increase your weights over time. Do what you can handle. And we bring the weights into both hands and straight forward, straight overhead. Exhale straight forward about 90 degrees. Keep your glutes engaged. Keep pressing into your feet. Keep your core engaged. Just inhale, exhale. Work your way up to several rounds. Getting stronger here, the more you do this, I would recommend between three to four times a week. So we're gonna chop the weights here and we stretch out again, coming down and stretch. So you're working here your quads, your thighs, as you're coming down. So we did five earlier, we're doing five more. Lengthen out. And stretch for one or two breaths. Here I'm showing you that you can bring the arms out like a T to the side. It's a tiny bit easier. Watch your shoulders, listen to your body. So we're gonna come carefully down off that ball and sit down onto the mat. Make sure that you have a yoga mat where you're not sliding and the ball is not scooching away. So bring in the ball in between your ankles. Again, that works really great with shoes on. Engaging your core, bringing your arms out to the side and squeezing that ball. We're gonna work the glutes, the hips and the thighs. Bring it straight up. Inhale, bend your knees, exhale, straighten. This is almost like doing a squat, but in a way more comfortable, safer way to do it until you build some good strength. So bending your knees, what we're doing here is we're exercising and we're lengthening and stretching the body at the same time. Eight to 10 times. Core engaged, bending the knees, inhale, exhale, straightening the legs. Don't hyperextend your knees. Be mindful of what you're doing. Squeeze that ball in between your ankles. So you're activating here your thighs. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze hard, really, really hard. Getting the inner thighs engaged here. Squeeze and then we rotate. We let one leg come towards us and the other leg away. So you have to really squeeze that ball, otherwise the ball will drop. That alone, it looks super easy, but it works your entire inner thighs and your core. It's a lovely way to shape your inner thighs with this ball, with this stability ball, exercise ball, Swiss ball, whatever you want to call it. Using your own body weight. Good, we're gonna chop the ball here below our knees. It's almost kind of like a little child's pose. Take a few breaths. Feeling that heart rate pumping a little. And once more, bring it in between your lower feet and it's bend your knees. And we're gonna go here from side to side, core tight, working the obliques, working the abs. can turn your head to one side if that's comfortable or even lift up your head and your shoulders a little bit to activate that core even more. Work your way up between eight to ten times. Start maybe with five times to each side or even three times to each side and then eventually drop the ball to one side Squeeze the inner thighs back to center, exhale, 
drop it now to the other side squeeze the ball letting your hips your lower back release and back to center bringing here your lower legs onto the ball so the more the ball is under your hamstrings the harder that will be so I'm coming onto my heels and I'm lengthening out that ball bring it back in lengthen out straighten your legs working your quads again bringing it in over time if you get stronger you may lift up your hips I'm not demonstrating that here today because I want that to be accessible for everybody, even some seniors. And lengthen out, exhale, bring it in. You're still going to feel that more in your thighs versus just your uh, buttocks. And then we're going to come up. straddling our legs move the weights out of the way and we're using the ball to get us a little bit deeper into that side body stretch so ball is under the left hand links and out here to the side and maybe hand behind shoulder onto your back you can also straighten that arm totally by your ear and other side lengthening that left side now arm up and over see how i'm rocking back and forth pressing the sit bones down and crap the ball and we're gonna move here again bring that ball now onto the wall get the weights and you want to sit down again you make sure that the ball is on a yoga mat so it's not sliding away from you having your legs hip width apart sitting firmly on the ball with a tall spine and we're bringing the arms out to the side so elbows slightly bent and the weights a bit forward so not directly straight to the side you want to protect your shoulders Lifting up shoulder height as you exhale, inhale, bringing the arms by your side. Again, you can make this as easy or as hard as you want to. Exercise with a stability ball gives you a lot of options. And straight forward, shoulder height, keeping that core engaged, pressing into your feet. you do that first thing in the morning your body will really wake up so now we're gonna bring them out it's called serving elbows tucked to the side arms diagonal out like a v-shape inhale one way exhale the other way eight to ten times pressing your feet into the mat lengthening out relax the shoulders and here just a tiny micro move from side to side working the outer shoulders you're gonna feel the heat build up you're gonna feel the warmth as we not stopping in between the movements we transition easily from movement to movement building up strengths now here shoulder height forward and back up it's like a flossing the shoulders here working a bit the back shoulders Strong shoulders, such a wonderful way for your posture. <laughs> it's working up a sweat. So this one is a compound move. I'm moving a bit to the side so you can see you don't have to change your position. We're curling in, push up, elbows close to the head and tricep. Bring it down. Unfold. Exhale curl in exhale push up inhale tricep push it up exhale bring it down find a pattern here to breathe do it slow and if you you know mess up a little just get right back it, into it as long as you're moving here your arms and even the lighter weights 
focus on the muscle and mind connection here and you will feel that in your arms and you will get stronger you will feel better and in no time in no time curl it in push it up arms by your side elbows in bring it down lengthening out so it's one two three and even a fourth move bringing it down working the entire arms and shoulders bicep tricep and partially your back matching to do this with 10 pounds will be totally different it's so much fun using the stability ball with your exercises, your weights, and being creative. Here we go. Weights out of vicinity here. We're going to stretch now to finish our morning or midday practice. I sometimes work out at 6 o'clock in the evening, depending on my schedule. Twisting here again. Feel free to add any of my stretching videos. I have some very short ones if you want to have more of a workout with more of a deeper stretch. Or again, skip that last stretching here and go through it once more. So ball now onto the wall and you can come cross-legged or bring the soles of your feet together for an additional hip opening, pressing the entire back body into the ball and the ball into the wall you can sit here breathe or lay all the way back bringing your arms out and stay here as long as you feel comfortable take some deep breathing so you get ready for the rest of your day I thank you so much for practicing with me subscribe share leave some comments that was great you all be blessed